Picture 24, Olympic-sized pools filled to the brim with cash. That's the incredible amount of money we're discussing when we talk about Apple's cash reserves. An Olympic-sized swimming pool holds around 2.5 million gallons of water. So imagine what 24 of those pools would look like filled with physical cash. As one of the most successful tech companies in the world, Apple has accumulated an astonishing amount of wealth over the past decade through the sales of iPhones, Mac computers, and their digital services. Just the sale of iPhones alone generates over 50% of Apple's annual revenue, and that's 60 to $100 billion in annual operating cash flow. In this video, we'll delve into the company's massive cash reserves, determine if Apple truly has the largest cash reserve in the world, and why we think it's big enough to fill up 24 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Stay tuned. First, let's talk about what we mean by cash reserves. This term refers to the money a company has in the bank or short-term investments that can be quickly converted to cash. For Apple, this includes their readily available money and investments in government bonds and other financial instruments. So just how much money are we talking about here? Well, Apple's impressive cash-on-hand reserves have been a topic of discussion for years now, with many analysts and financial experts marveling at the sheer size of the tech giant's financial reserves. As of the latest financial reports, Apple has over $51 billion in cash reserves. To put that in perspective, that's more money than the GDP of many small countries. Additionally, Apple's total assets amount to $387.53 billion, which would rank them 40th on the IMF GDP 2022 list, surpassing Denmark's $386.72 billion and trailing behind the Philippines' $401.66 billion and South Africa's $411.48 billion. Although Apple is a major player in the global economy, it still has a lot of ground to cover in order to rival top-ranking countries. Saudi Arabia, for instance, ranks 18th with a GDP of $1.01 trillion, and Italy ranks 10th with a GDP of $2 trillion. Now that we know that Apple has over $51 billion in cash reserves, which is equivalent to filling 24 Olympic swimming pools, you may be curious about how we arrived at this conclusion. Here's how we did it. This calculation was based on Madrigal's formula, which takes into account the volume of a dollar bill and the volume of an Olympic-sized swimming pool. According to Madrigal's formula, a dollar bill has a volume of 0.06943 cubic inches, and an Olympic-sized swimming pool has a volume of 152,064,000 cubic inches. By dividing the volume of the pool by the volume of the dollar bill, we get 2,190,177,157 bills needed to fill a swimming pool. So, how does Apple's $51 billion fit into this equation? By dividing Apple's total cash reserves by the number of bills needed to fill a pool, we get 23.4. Therefore, in order to fill a single Olympic pool, Apple would need to come up with around $2.5 billion, based on average dimensions. However, if we were to attempt this experiment, it would be impossible due to the limitations of the U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing, which can only print about 10 to 15 billion bills per year. It would take at least three to four years of continuous printing to produce enough cash for this endeavor. In 2019, Apple had a cash reserve of $200 billion, which is significantly decreased due to various reasons. Firstly, Apple has spent tens of billions of dollars on buying back its own shares and paying dividends to shareholders in order to increase the stock price and return value to investors. Additionally, Apple has had to pay large tax bills, including a one-time payment of $38 billion in 2018 for overseas cash repatriation. These tax bills have reduced Apple's cash pile. Moreover, Apple has spent billions acquiring companies in recent years to strengthen its services business. Finally, Apple's spending on new facilities, equipment, and infrastructure has increased to support new projects and growth, further depleting its cash reserves. It's worth noting that Apple's cash reserves are the envy of many companies around the world. 
With such a large cash hoard, the company is well positioned to weather any economic storms that may come its way. Furthermore, Apple has been known to use its cash reserves to make strategic acquisitions and investments in order to stay ahead of the curve in the ever-evolving tech industry. Now, you might be wondering why Apple has so much money in the first place. After all, they're a technology company, not a bank. The answer to this lies in its business model. Apple's immense wealth is primarily due to its high-priced products and digital services. The popularity of iPhones, Macs, the App Store, and iTunes has generated substantial cash flow for the company. Apple's profit margins, typically around 20 to 25 percent, are far greater than most companies due to their premium pricing and integrated business model. The iPhone still generates over 50 percent of Apple's annual revenue, despite only making up around 40 percent of unit sales. The high profit margins of the iPhone XR, XS, and XS Max drive a disproportionate amount of Apple's cash flow. Apple services like the App Store, Apple Music, iCloud and Apple Pay now account for 20% of total revenue and are growing by around 20% annually. Apple sells around 200 million iPhones every year at an average selling price of $700 to $1,000. With profit margins of 30 to 40% on iPhones, Apple generates 60 to $100 billion in annual operating cash flow. The Mac and iPad business, while smaller, is also very profitable for Apple due to high markups, financing plans, and accessories sales. Apple's $51 billion cash pile has accumulated slowly but surely over the last decade due to these factors. But now, Apple must decide what to do with this unprecedented cash hoard. Of course, having that much money also comes with some challenges. For one thing, it can be hard to find ways to invest all that cash. Apple has been making some big investments in renewable energy. They've committed to using 100% renewable energy to power all of their operations, and they've invested in things like solar farms and wind turbines to make that happen. So, while they may not be spending all of their money in the most obvious ways, they are putting it to use in ways that they believe will benefit both their business and the planet. Another challenge is figuring out what to do with all that cash from a tax perspective. Because much of Apple's business is based overseas, they've faced criticism for not paying enough in taxes in the US. Apple has responded by saying that they pay all the taxes they owe, but there's no denying that their cash reserves have made them a target for tax reform advocates. Are you of the same opinion? Do you think Apple is exploiting the tax system? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section, and consider leaving a like if you're enjoying this video. So what does Apple plan to do with all that money? Well, Apple is known for its innovative products, and investing in research and development is crucial to maintaining that reputation. The company has been investing heavily in research and development. New figures reveal that Apple spent a record $26.25 billion on research and development in 2022, a rise of about $4 billion from 2021. Also, Apple also acquires other businesses to expand its product offerings and enter new markets. One of Apple's most talked about and successful acquisitions was when the company purchased Beats Music and Beats Electronics for $3 billion in 2014. This acquisition allowed Apple to expand into the music streaming industry and ultimately created Apple Music. With its large cash reserves, Apple seeks to continue its acquisitions of other companies to extend its product offerings or enter new markets. In the past five years, Apple has spent just $1.3 billion on acquisitions, according to Refinitiv Records. That's a fraction of the deals done at Microsoft, where they totaled close to $33 billion, and at Amazon with over $24 billion. Additionally, Apple hopes to boost investor confidence and increase its stock price through share buybacks and dividends. During the pandemic in 2020, Apple announced a $50 billion stock buyback program, which was made possible by the company's massive cash reserves. Though Apple products are easily available in developed countries, the company hopes to expand into emerging markets like China and India using its cash reserves. These countries have a large potential customer base for Apple to target, providing growth opportunities. Apple has many opportunities and flexibility with having a large amount of cash. It gives the company an extra sense of security, allowing them to survive economic downturns or sudden changes in the market. 
This added security also benefits Apple in allowing them to take on more risks and make more strategic decisions. It's important to weigh the advantages and disadvantages of having a large amount of cash on hand. While it may seem beneficial, there are also risks to consider. These include the potential for inflation. Due to inflation, the value of money decreases over time, resulting in reduced purchasing power for Apple. The longer Apple holds onto it, the less valuable the cash becomes. Also, pressure from Apple's shareholders to use cash reserves in a way that satisfies them plays a huge role in Apple keeping the trust of its shareholders and customers. Overall, while Apple's cash reserves may seem impressive on paper, it's important to remember that the company has worked hard to earn and maintain its financial position. And with the company continuing to innovate and push the boundaries of what's possible in the tech world, it's likely that Apple's cash reserves will continue to grow in the years to come. So, what can we learn from Apple's cash reserves? For starters, it's a reminder of just how much money some of the world's biggest companies have at their disposal. But it's also a reminder that having that much money can come with some challenges. Apple has had to figure out how to invest all that cash, how to deal with tax issues, and how to balance the needs of shareholders with the long-term goals of the company. At the end of the day, though, there's no denying that Apple has been incredibly successful over the years. Their cash reserves are a testament to their ability to generate cash flow, and their investments in renewable energy and digital services show that they're thinking about the future as well. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching, and consider watching our other videos right here.